Okay, two minutes out from Adam of Code opening up for uh, day seven. So I, I was kind of looking at the storyline. We just went through customs. So I'm assuming that we have managed to deplane. So I, I'm guessing it'll be something again in another airport. Um, but we'll just have to see. There, there wasn't a ton of updates from yesterday. I, I went back and watched my stream. There wasn't anything that was substantial. So, so no changes on that front. If you're watching, hello. Thank you for joining. We are under a minute out. All right, welcome in to the stream. Let's go, day seven. And we'll get the input here. Luggage processing. Rules. Color-coded bags, quantities of other co color bags. Okay, this is gonna be some interesting parsing again. One bright white bag, five, okay. Dark orange bag, okay. Required contents for nine bag types. Next example, faded blue. Okay, you have a shiny gold one. You wanted to carry uh, at least one other bag. How, if you wanted to carry it in at least one other bag. This is a graph problem. How many colors can eventually contain at least one shiny gold bag? Okay, so I feel like this is a, it feels like a graph. A, a contains graph to some extent, basically. And then we traverse backwards. Okay, so. Um, first of all, let's get this in here. Okay, and then here we'll do let me just read in the lines. So, um, Dot star bags contain black D plus one. Oh, shoot. Um, black D plus. Uh, so this is going to have to repeat. I think, and then shoot. Let's just do this. And then line. Okay, looks like it's matching, so. Okay. 
we'll split these by the comma, comma space, and then Okay. Um, oh wait. At least one shiny gold back. Okay, cool. Um, so that should be fine. So I think that we want to revert. So we want color can contain those. So we want the things that it can contain to point to the color. Um, so So then, um, <clears throat> this needs to be default dict of the list. N comma color. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bright, bright, bright white, one of these can be in a light red. One, okay, let's convert those to integers. Okay, bright white bag, one of these can go in a light red. Three can go into an orange. Okay, so I think we're good. I think this is the right direction. And then if we go do our graph traversal now, So we look here, we see if
Okay, um, now what we can do is I think we need some sort of has concept, but I, I'm not sure yet. Um, Okay. Then we say look dot and d. I believe. I think I think that's what we need. So what is the answer for this one? It's four. Okay. So. Muted yellow. Dark orange bag, which can hold bright right and muted yellow bags. Either of which could contain your shiny gold bag. Red, bright right, and muted yellow. Shiny gold. Okay. So. Okay, I should just use the, the same nomenclature here. Okay, and then I need to clean up can. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, 360 on the leaderboard. That's not too shabby. So how many, I guess this is how many bags inside of the single shiny gold bag. Okay, let's see. So this is where N comes into play. So from the shiny gold bag, then we have to look at the dependencies. So we need to reverse this. 
Ah uh, man, I need to add a reverse reverse dict um, thing to my thing. That was really useful. I think that reverses this. Let's do one light red, bright right, bright white. Um, Maybe reversing isn't the way to do No, no, here we go. You need nine muted yellow. Wait, no, shoot. Okay, maybe this isn't the way to go actually. Oh, but the, te okay, no, hold on. The test, if I do this, crap. Okay, let's just edit this. We'll go. I'm really kind of mad at myself for not doing this earlier. One bright white, two muted. Oh, I'm retarded. Crap. Okay, there we go.
for Needs C needs dot. Values twenty one. Nope, that's not right. Oh, wait, this is another example. <laughs> Rip. Uh, okay, so shiny gold. Oh, shoot. Um, we have to multiply. In the two dark red, you have to get So we need n of this color, n bags of this color. So n bags, so for each of the dependencies of this color. So shiny, two shiny gold. So we need two dark red, okay. Dark red two. That requires that we get, no, it's four. Shoot, this is where I need to multiply by N, I think. Shoot. 
Okay, for C1, we need dependencies to N C1. We need N of those colors. So each of the each of the things that we append, we're gonna need how many? And then when we look, we need, so this should, this should end up with four. Four dark orange. Oh, wait a second. So let's look. This is what we need. Then we go to down here. Okay, concentrate, Sumner. Why is this so freaking hard? I, I feel like I'm just, I need to step back here. Because like this is working, so I'm getting the correct N. It's only twos. That's the problem. The, it's not here. Whatever. That works. Um, holy crap. Eight hundred thirty. Okay, at least I'm top one thousand. But oh my gosh, that was terrible. Oh, where's the... So... That was just absolute carnage. That was embarrassing. Part two was just absolute trash. I don't know. Okay, what went... Uh, let's... Today was partially good. Um... So, partially really bad. So what went wrong? And I, I need to all, the first thing that I need to figure out is what's going on here? Oh, I mean, of course, of course I need to multiply this by n. Why do I have to multiply this by n? Oh, because that's just the number of bags that I need of that color. Okay, well, at least top 1,000. This was just... Ah, oh, I'm so pissed. I was also there. I was literally there. I just had to multiply... Like, I had the n times n on both of these. Ah. Oh. And it makes sense that you need to multiply this, both of these by n, because it's basically just the number of things that you need of this color, number of bags that you need of this color. So, of course, then you should add it to looks... Um, with n times n. Okay. Um, so I didn't use the regression test. That that was kind of a mistake. Oh, whoops. Let me just.
Okay, let's get rid of that print. That's not necessary. This print is not necessary. This print is not necessary. Okay, another thing that, that happened is I tried to reverse the, the map instead of just rewriting it. So that was, instead of like re, redoing it up here, that was a mistake. I should have just gone for dependencies too immediately. Copying this in was a good idea. Okay. So what went right? Okay, so first thing that went right is ident identify this as a graph problem very, very quickly. And so the second thing that went right is I didn't try and overcomplicate my regex. That was a good idea because this, I mean, being able to just use that to split and then do these things. Uh, I, I used printing a lot here and that caught the no other bags issue as the base case. So that's good. I think the input parsing for part one at least was really good. And honestly, for part two, once I decided to just go for the dependencies too, it was a, it just worked. Um, I, I'm really wondering, I'm beginning to wonder if I should copy paste my input parsing code, but We'll see. I, I think it worked out okay. I had a little mistake with dependencies two being to redefine down here. This is part of what Python, you know, shoot shoot yourself in the foot can do, just because it's a bit dif more difficult there um, to to identify that it's been redeclared. Uh, and then I'm still a bit mad about not multiplying by n times n earlier, but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Okay, what else can we clean up here? Let's do that. What else can we do? I think that's it. Uh, honestly, I, I mean, I'll, I'll clean this up maybe a little bit, get rid of... No, I mean, I'll, I'll just leave it. I, I kind of, it's kind of fun leaving it as as is it's like relatively clean there's a lot of comments in here but it, it's not that bad oh i guess i do want to actually test um uh that that i can remove this because I, I i was pretty sure i'm pretty sure that i can Oh, and then this needs to go here. Okay, yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with that as my cleaned up version. Um, could have been better, could have been a lot better. Um, the fact that there was such a difference between this score and this score is really freaking annoying. Really, really, really freaking annoying. Oh well, um, if you liked it, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, checking out my channel. I do appreciate it. So give a like and I'll be back at it on Twitch tomorrow night for day eight.